Hey everyone, this is Shay Walker from All Garage Floors and today we're going to give you our top three recommendations for the best cheap garage floor tiles. In other words, low cost. Now the type of tiles that we're talking about are the hard plastic polypropylene interlocking garage floor tiles. We're going to give you the pros and cons of each, compare all three of them together, and then we're also going to tell you where you can purchase them for the best price. So please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we want to point out is that if you're shopping for a low budget or cheap garage tile, it doesn't necessarily mean you're getting cheap quality, all right? Typically, the biggest difference between a premium tile such as Race Deck or Swiss, or Swiss Tracks compared to a budget tile is going to be in the finish. Uh, your budget tiles, the finish just isn't quite as refined in most cases. Sometimes you can have a little bit of marbling uh, in the finish color. Uh, you may be able to see the underside bracing showing through on the surface of the tile a little bit. But once you lay them out, it kind of takes up a look of their own. and It's not that distracting. Most people don't even comment on that. The other one is the rolling weight ratings. Premium tiles use more plastic in their structure underneath the tile and they can have rolling weight ratings of up to 70,000 pounds or even more. Now, the budget tiles we're talking about here have lower rolling weight ratings, but they're more than enough for a typical garage environment. Now, these three that we wanna discuss are all priced well under $3 each per tile. One in particular, at the time we filmed this video, is only $2 per tile. Now the tiles that you want to avoid are tiles made in China or tiles that you can purchase from websites such as eBay or Craigslist with names that you've never heard of before. Now the first two that we're going to cover are the ones that we feel are the best value for your money overall. And then the third one is the cheapest tile that you can buy with a warranty from a reputable vendor. So now that we know what we're gonna cover, let's get down and show you the differences in these tiles. All right, so the first of our two picks for the best value in low-cost garage tiles is the TrueLock Standard Diamond Garage Tile. Now this tile has become our favorite for a couple of reasons. And the first is just the quality of the manufacturing. Now this tile was originally made by a small company in Tennessee called Speedway. And a few years ago, it was acquired by the Recreational Group. Now this is a large company in Georgia that provides and manufactures a variety of flooring solutions. Now VersaCourt, IceCourt, and even Swiss Tracks now are some examples. Now after the acquisition, what they did is they re-engineered the tile molds. They added a slightly textured scuff resistant surface with a satin finish and created more color options. In addition, the individual raised diamonds now have a polished look. And this really stands out and complements the overall finish. Another feature worth mentioning is that the True Lock Standard Diamond Tile best represents the traditional diamond plate design. Um, other budget tiles and, and, and most other tiles in general don't have this type of design. So this is very true to the diamond plate. Now, if I bring it up here to the camera, hopefully you can see kind of the polished effect on the top of the diamonds and you can see that that scuff resistant surface right here now each tile is 12 by 12 it's one half inch thick and there's a total of 10 color options to choose from they're manufactured with a high impact copolymer polypropylene and have a rolling weight rating of 25,000 pounds furthermore they have an industry leading six points per side peg and loop interlocking system and on the back side here you can see the the pegs which lock into an adjacent tiles loop now other interlocking tile systems by the competition typically are only available in four locks per side we've never seen any other tile that has uh, more than four locks now this particular tile is highly stain resistant 
the scuff uh, resistant surface also helps to make it slip resistant and it can withstand the abuses of chemicals of a typical garage floor environment. You know, we're talking oil spills, hydraulic fluid, brake fluid, things like that. And then lastly, they have a five-year warranty against manufacturer's defects. Now, our recommendation for the best place to buy TrueLock Standard Diamond Tile would be Garage Flooring LLC. You can find this tile under a different name from some other retailers. However, Garage Flooring LLC guarantees the lowest delivered price. And we've included a link below in the description where you can get that price. And if you happen to find the same tile for less, they'll beat the advertised price by 110% of the difference. But in our research, we've never found where anyone's had a price lower than them. Now, they do provide free shipping, great customer service, and they have a knowledgeable staff. In addition, they also have a garage floor design page. Now, this will help you create your own floor plan design, decide on your color choices, and calculate how many tiles you need. Now, another very popular retailer you can purchase these garage tiles from is Amazon. Now, because these tiles have always been popular there, the recreational group decided to retain the Speedway name. But there's no worries, though. It is, it's the exact same tile. You can't tell the difference. And we have a link for Amazon in the description below. Now, something to consider with Amazon is the lack of customer service. In other words, they can't help you with any questions you may have regarding installation, floor design parameters, or any other issues that may crop up. All right, so now that we know what our favorite is, let's talk about the next low-cost tile that we can recommend. So our second recommendation for the best value in a budget garage tile would be Garage Deck. Now this Garage Deck design is a coin pattern garage tile and it's available in seven different color options. Now Garage Deck tiles are manufactured with high impact copolymer polypropylene and they're made by Snaplock Industries out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Now if Snaplock sounds familiar to you, it's because they are the same company that manufactures tile for Race Deck. But before you start thinking you're getting a Race Deck tile in disguise for a cheaper price, we can assure you that you're not. The Garage Deck tiles have engineered design differences in the support structure as well as a less sophisticated cosmetic finish here that puts the tiles in the budget category below Race Deck and it's a couple of reasons why it costs less. Now all Garage Deck tiles are 12 inches by 12 inches by one half inch thick. They have the traditional four per side peg and loop interlocking mechanism. Here's your pegs. And they have a very smooth uh, satin finish. Now, one feature of the coined tiles is they provide the smoothest rolling surface for wheels, such as office chairs, toolboxes, floor jacks, and so on. Now, polypropylene tiles like this aren't necessarily known for being slippery, but this coin design can be more slippery than other designs. So that's something to consider if slip resistance is a high priority for you. Now, Garage Deck tiles are warranted against manufacturer defects for 12 years, and they have a rolling weight limit of 44,000 pounds. There's two retailers that we can recommend for purchasing Garage Deck tiles at the best price. The first is Big Floors. Now, they're a retail distributor for Snaplock Industries. Shipping is free and they have a fairly knowledgeable staff on hand to answer your questions. Now, Big Floors does offer another version of this tile in a diamond design. It's, it's a double diamond design. However, it runs anywhere from 25 to 50 cents more per tile, so it doesn't qualify as our best value in garage tiles. That's why we're just showing you this particular design here. Now, the second retailer we can recommend is Amazon. We found that you can sometimes get a lower price per tile when you elect to purchase the larger quantity tile packs. So we recommend checking between these two retailers to see which option is best at the time. All right, so now that we've shown you the, what we consider the two best values, let's show you a tile that is about the cheapest that you can buy from a reputable retailer. So if you're just looking to purchase the cheapest garage floor tile that you can find that doesn't have a lot of bad reviews, then we have one more option for you to consider. 
And our recommendation would be the Nitro Tile line by Garage Flooring Inc. Now these tiles are made in Taiwan and they're the cheapest interlocking garage floor tiles you can purchase from a reputable retailer. Nitro tiles are available in a diamond design like this one here, but you can usually get the coined and vented design for the same price point as well. They have a very glossy finish, which you probably picked up on right away, with uh, eight colors to choose from. Now, each tile is 12 inches by 12 inches, but they're 3 8 inch thick. And they do have your traditional four per side uh, peg and loop interlocking mechanism, as you can see right here. And they have a limited lifetime warranty that covers workmanship materials and defects. Now there's a couple of things you need to be aware of though before you jump out and purchase these because they're the cheapest price. We actually had to call and speak to a representative because we couldn't find the information we were looking for. And we found that Garage Flooring Inc. could not confirm that these tiles were not made with inferior or recycled materials. And needless to say, they couldn't confirm either that they're made with top virgin 100% polypropylene materials either, like the other two tiles we showed you were. The second is that nitro tiles are not rated for a rolling weight capacity or limits for pounds per square inch like some tiles are. The only answer they could provide is that the tiles can easily withstand the weight of a car since the weight is distributed amongst the four tires. So <laughs> that led to the next question. We said, well, uh, would it be safe to park our 9,100 pound F350 Super Duty, Super Duty truck on the, on the nitro tiles? And they couldn't provide a solid answer with the specs to back it up. They just said that it should be okay. And if there was any problems to let them know. So we don't doubt that you can park a full size uh, car or pickup on the tiles. However, we believe the reason for not testing or at least not publishing the rolling weight ratings for the tiles is that it is much lower than the competition. Now, as we said before, these tiles are full 1 8 inch thinner. And in addition, the support structure underneath compared to the True Lock Diamond and Garage Deck tiles is less robust as well. So this lack of overall material used in the construction and no material specification for the plastic is reflected in the lowest price point. Now, Nitro Tiles do have good reviews on their website, but we found that most people who, who leave the reviews only use their garage to park their cars. Rarely we come across someone who is using the floor for garage projects, car repairs, and etc. So if you only plan on parking in the garage, then this tile may work just fine for you. The biggest complaint that this tile gets is that it tends to expand and buckle in direct sunlight much more easily than other brands of tiles. And this is due to the simple fact that there's less material and so it absorbs heat much faster. We have a link below in our description where you can get the pricing. Now shipping is free with Garage Flooring Inc. and they have a flooring design tool to help with your layout and color selection. So what we're going to do here is to quickly show you some of the cosmetic differences between these three budget tiles as well as the underside structure, the support structure, and compare it to a premium tile so you know why the price point is less on these particular tiles. Now the True Lock Standard Diamond does have, in our opinion, the nicest finish of all the budget tiles that are out there. You can see some of the bracing that shows through uh, the tile here. So that's something to consider, but it's, but it's still very nice. This is the garage deck tile. Now this one has what we call the marbling or a, like a lava flow going through it. And it also shows the bracing. There's like six points that go through here, including these little areas here. Not a big deal once you lay it all out because it takes on a unique look of its own once it's laid out on the garage floor. Now the nitro tile, obviously has a gloss finish but we don't care for it as much for a couple reasons one it scratches easily we're not sure if you can see it in the camera but there are a lot of scratches in this tile um, some of which we put in with our own fingernails in addition it has this 
what looks like tape residue in spots on here, but we can't clean it up. It won't come off the tile. And so this is why we don't recommend this tile for a working garage, because if you're sliding jacks and such over this tile, you may not be happy with the finish of it. Now, if we flip them over and look at the back sides, this True Lock Standard Diamond is rated at 25,000 pounds. You can see the grid pattern here. The one on the left is the garage deck tile, okay? And it is rated at 44,000 pounds. It has a little more plastic in there, so you can see why it would be rated higher than the True Lock Standard Diamond. Now, if we compare this to the nitro tile, you can see this one has the least amount of material with large voids throughout. And this one, we have no doubt, is going to carry less weight than the other two. We just don't know what that number is because they don't publish it. Now, if we compare this to a premium tile, this is the Race Deck Diamond tile, you can see that it's a very nice finish. There's no bracing that shows up from the underside. And speaking of that, if we flip it over, you can see there's a massive difference. The bracing is much more thick. The tile is heavier. This is rated at 80,000 pounds. Now we compare it to the garage deck design, which is by the same manufacturer, which is Snaplock Industries. You can see why you're not getting a race deck tile in disguise for a lower price. The superstructure underneath the support structure is not as beefy and the finish is not nearly as nice. So these are the main differences between your budget tiles and a premium tile. So now that we've shown you the three tiles and made the comparisons, you're probably wondering if you haven't made up your mind already, which tile is best? Well, what we can tell you is that the True Lock Standard Diamond and the, and the Garage Deck tile are indeed the best value for your money in low cost tiles. We wouldn't have shown them to you if we didn't actually believe so, okay? They're both American made by high quality manufacturers. Now, if we had to pick a favorite, it would be the True Lock Standard Diamond. And there's a couple reasons for this. One is the finish, it's very nice. It's, it's, it's a finish like a premium tile, to be honest with you. And the other is the price. It actually costs less in most cases than the garage deck tile. Now, if you are viewing the tiles strictly by rolling weight ratings and warranty and such, then the garage deck tile is gonna be the one that you're gonna to wanna to choose. So if that criteria is important to you, here's your tile, all right? If you just want a cheap garage tile with a warranty, you're just gonna be parking your car in the garage, you just want a nice floor that's easy to maintain and keep clean and such, then you may wanna look at the nitro tile. All right. Now, let's talk a little bit about warranties real quick. Sometimes people make a big deal about that. What we can tell you in our experience with interlocking garage tiles in this industry, about the only time you come across a defective tile is when you're unpacking them from the box or when you're actually assembling the tiles. That's about the only time you're going to discover a defective tile. A tile doesn't all of a sudden become defective say two years down the road. So that's something to consider when you're looking at the warranties. Now, don't forget about the edge ramps. The edge ramps are what snap into the tiles here. They're for the entrance of your garage and maybe any man doors that you have coming into the garage as well. Again, don't forget to take a look at the links in the description below where we have the links to all the prices, including an article with a more in-depth review of these tiles. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can update you with new videos as they become available. And thanks for watching.